Wow. Final fix, baby. Um, just super freaking excited. Um, oh, so much to break down. Okay, so first of all, during tonight's challenge, I revealed my real name. Um, so hopefully no one picked up on that and like no one really cares. But yeah, my real name is Rima. And yeah, Bambi is a pseudonym. It actually stands for badass in molecular biology in training since I'm actually a PhD candidate. And yeah, I work in a lab and I maybe do coding 10%, less than 10% of the time recently. I haven't done much of it, but I wasn't lying when I said I'm a, in a interdisciplinary program and I do coding. Like these are facts but my field is in molecular cellular developmental biology and biophysics um so yeah i got brains i'm not just uh you know uh a sheep or uh is that a singular i don't know um you know being carried along um but yeah oh, that was crazy Anyway, I am so freaking glad I won tonight's challenge because I didn't get to hear my name at camp at all. And that was so refreshing for once because I, I don't know, I don't know why, but for the last couple of days, I kept feeling like, you know, people were gunning for me and whatnot, but clearly that was never the case because my name never came up in any of the, um, uh, crossroads so I don't know it meant a lot today um because I feel like I perform well during like group um like the party challenges you know like I'm able to carry my own weight for the most part um especially during the scavenger hunt and then like the um icy shuffleboard thing um like if you were keeping track of the points like I I think I scored either the second lowest or third lowest uh, number of points, which is pretty freaking good. So, and like my party was able to win. So, yeah. Um, and like, I don't know. It just, I'm just super glad that I got to beat Carl's um, ranking uh, from Carl from Kilman, uh, Mount Kilimanjaro, because honestly, I just wanted to beat that guy, uh, shout out, <laughs> um, but yeah, I am just super, super, super glad that I won, because I legit finally felt safe, and tonight I was able to really reaffirm over and over again who I can trust and it is for sure Mike and David for sure like I want to go to the end with them uh you know possibly Danielle but she's playing this game pretty tough so I don't know like I like her a lot but she is a strong player um but oh my god Crossroads was actually insane like Number one, I really hated voting Olivia out. Like, she was one of the people in this game that I felt like I really, really trusted. But, you know, last night's vote where Carl was voted out just does not make sense to me. Because I was running through the numbers all day today. And, like, how could there have been one vote for Mike and one vote for Joshua? Like, it didn't make sense any sense to me um and so you know like the thought did cross my mind like oh like did Danielle vote for Mike because like you know she again didn't have um a note card note card or a piece of paper saying otherwise but I feel like I could read Danielle pretty well and I felt like she was being honest with me so I have no reason to doubt her but I won't lie if I didn't say the thought did cross my mind, you know, like it's just sad because also like after tonight, it just like during crossroads or back at base camp, it just meant like our four 
Danielle, Mike, and I, and Olivia just wasn't strong enough. And especially uh, worried me because I kept seeing Mariana, Olivia, and Danielle um, talking in one of the breakout rooms for a pretty long time. So that's like not, uh, it's very concerning, you know? Um, but yeah, we got the compass out completely, which I'm glad because like, that's not good for my game. Um, and, and at least people now believe me when I say, like, I really don't have it. And I'm pretty certain Mariana has it. And, like, I have, you know, I have been throwing her name out a lot. But, like, come on, that thing needs to go. It was, uh, it was not good for my gameplay, at least. Um, but, yeah, uh, her reaction, though, Mariana's reaction when we came back from Crossroads was pretty jarring. I still don't know what to make of it. It was kind of ridiculous. Um, but, man, I'm just so glad to be in the final six. And, you know, I really wish things didn't play out the way they did with Mike and Olivia and um, Danielle because... I felt like it was such a benign lie that just turned completely sour. Like, I think, I think because of Olivia's growing mistrust of Danielle, like, I guess she was concerned. I don't, I just don't understand why she would go after Mike then, you know? Um, and I don't understand why she trusted Mariana because, you know, I had conversations with her um Olivia saying like you know there's something about Mariana that doesn't sit right with me and I thought we were in agreement and I legitimately thought Olivia was one of the ones that I could trust the most um and turns out I couldn't if she voted for Mike um so yeah I I'm just glad to be here and to be in the final six um it's sad that our four disintegrated, but I know the that me and Mike are still strong and David is a part of that. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of crazy, but I'm so glad that the compass is out because that was my major like move that I have wanted to do for so long, but it was never getting any traction. But now finally it did. Finally, people went after that compass. Um, so we'll see. We shall see where things go um, on Thursday night or the next challenge. We'll see. We shall see. <sighs> Man, I just, I'm so glad that we were able to pull it off. Like, I definitely trust Josh now. I mean you know, at, at an arm's length, that guy can easily flip flop. Um, and I was really worried that he would have tonight when I saw him talking to, um, I think it was Mariana. Um, it was either Mariana or Danielle, like towards the end of, uh, like right before we had to go to Crossroads. And so I was like, oh, this is it. This could all go down south. Like, but Dude, Josh pulled through and it was able to work. I am so glad I made it to Final Six, man. Like, can I can I say that more times? Because yeah, I'm freaking glad. <laughs> but yeah, I think overall the way I saw people leaving is working out in my favor. Uh, I think Olivia left too soon, but I'm getting the people who I want out. And, you know, I may not be the one most vocal about it, but I am the one that's rallying behind it, you know? Like, votes matter. It doesn't matter who's saying it, but if you get, can get behind it, that's where it counts. Anyway, I've said my piece, so till next time. 
Holy shimoli. Um, that vote went a little crazy and I should have voted Mike and I voted Josh. Um, us girls, me, Mariana, and uh, Olivia, we had a thing where we put our hair up and that meant to vote Josh. So I thought we were switching to Josh and I voted Josh instead of Mike. And they both obviously voted Mike, which is my fault, and that sucks. But Olivia was a very dangerous player. She is super, super smart. Having her on the jury isn't a bad thing for me at this point, especially me not being one that voted her out. I think um, for that reason, I will potentially have her vote if I make it to the end. Um, there's a good chance of it. So it doesn't hurt my game, her going to the jury. Um, she had to go eventually because she's super smart. Um... This is the thing. Basically, everybody in this game right now is a massive threat to win against at the end. You have, all of them have won things um, in comps, and it's just, it's crazy, to be honest. Um, the amount of people that, like, the things they have on their resumes already, I mean... Um, if it was my choice, Josh, David, and Mike will go next, and it will be me, Bambi, and Mariana, final three. Um, I don't know who is a bigger threat, Bambi or Olivia. I would have went final three with Olivia over Bambi, just because I liked her better, um, because I had a relationship with her longer, but... Um, I do really enjoy Bambi. I think she's lovely. She's super cool. But she is a super strong player and very, very smart as well. Um, so this is quite interesting to say the least. Um, if I make it to final two, I'm just going to be so happy. I don't want to lose at final two is the only thing. And the strategy of who to get out at this point is really, really hard. Um... I just hope I can win some exemptions coming up to add to my gameplay because um, I some challenges I've purposely not done well in and then some challenges I have just bit like I have not done well. Um, that last trivia challenge, um, I probably could have held on to my cups longer if I would have set myself up properly, but I was never planning to win that in the beginning anyways. Um, so the loss there wasn't detrimental. I didn't think I was going to be the vote. Um, so I wasn't too worried about it. Things did get a little crazy with the whole accusing me of the thing, um, which I actually did vote Joshua. Um, but I didn't vote Mike, like I said, multiple times. Um, cause that's kind of where everything got pulled to. Um, but I did vote Joshua. <laughs> um, I love Josh. I love Josh in this game, but he is such a good player. He cannot make it to the end. Like he's got to go love, love, love you, Josh, but you are so smart and so good at this game. You are a massive threat you have to get out of this game ASAP um I need Joshua out of this game if anything David could go to the end with me too because of the whole Katie spin um of how he played her out or whatever it would probably guarantee me Katie's vote over David's uh or giving her giving David her vote but hard to say uh, Mariana is my final two, but I mean, we have to make it there together in order to be a final two. So that's something that will come into play moving forward. Um, I forgot to mention the day I was explaining my confessional when I met Kelly Wentworth and got to hang out with her. I got a compass. I did that solo cup challenge and I won a compass and I've completely denied it. And nobody's even looked into it or I think questioned it which is hilarious to me. Um, and I actually thought Olivia had come back with something. And if she did and she walked out with something, that sucks. She should have known um, that it was potentially her um, going out of the game. Um, it's unfortunate that David flipped, but I think it's because he's worried about the girls. It's, they're not, they weren't wanting to get out or be a 4-2 against the females. So, that sucks that I didn't vote Mike. I really, really think that could hurt my game moving forward, but hopefully it doesn't. And hopefully they see that um, one of them have to go between David, Mike and Josh. Um, ultimately, Mike or Josh need to go next. Um, 
that being said, I have a compass and we're now at final six and I can use it this round or I can wait till final five. I really want to save it to final five if I can. So as long as I'm feeling good, um, I will not be using my compass until the last time I can use it. Um, I don't know how long, I gotta ask how long the Destiny Cube lasts for, but I want to use it for the heck of it. So I'm going to use it at some point also. Um, but yeah, if if anything else that's where i'm at and um josh i tried to uh i told him that i voted him i tried to reconcile everything that happened and hopefully he still wants to work with me moving forward but i don't really know where his head's at and i guess we will see what happens moving forward from this so yeah good night oh another lovely day of expedition online uh I, I I feel elated. I feel like things are really coming together for me and I am taking control of this game at the exact right point in time. And people don't really know right now that I have, I think, more allies and more cards than anyone. Um, so uh, another exemption challenge today. Uh, this one was a little popularity based where you, you answer questions and then uh, whoever uh, answers them correctly gets to put uh, have another person stack a cup on top of their cup. So we're making a tower. And uh, if you fall, you're out. Uh, if you get too many cups, if you, once five people try and target you, you're out. And uh, the day started off a little rocky because people targeted me early, which you know, makes me think, oh, great, you know, Olivia's targeting me. She clearly doesn't want me to win uh, immunity. They blamed it on that. They thought I'd be really good at this. So, you know, I don't know if that's actually true or if they just thought that they they didn't want me to win because they wanted to target me. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not really sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, certainly had me feel vulnerable early because I got four cups early before, like, anyone had, uh, I think there was just, you know, Olivia had two just because I put one on there. So, you know, people really targeted me hard, and I got out early, and I really wanted to win that one because I, I, uh, you know, exemption gets more and more important every single time. But... You know, again, it's kind of ideal to not win it and not need it. So uh, at the same token, I, I was certainly hoping that I could drum up the numbers to do exactly what I wanted to do. And um, what I wanted to do was to target Olivia. Olivia certainly seems to be in the middle of a lot of things. She seems to have trust with a lot of people, but I don't trust her at all. Uh, she hasn't made a whole lot of an effort to uh, make me feel like she actually wants to work with me. Um, and certainly even just by targeting me with cups, it's like, yeah, I, 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 I knew as soon as Olivia answered the question, it's like, yeah, I, I think I'm the person that she least wants to work with. So it's probably me. And sure enough, it was. So, um, I wanted to try and steer things towards her. Uh, and I talked to Mike early and I could tell, you know, Mike really wants, he's wanted Mariana for a long time. And, uh, he even said like the only people I, you know, I won't vote for, are, you know, you, you, uh, Bambi and Olivia, cause that, that was our, you know, original thing. And, uh, so I was like, oh, well, this is going to need some, some manipulation. Uh, my ace card this week is that there's still just so much paranoia and arguing about how the votes would happen last time. Where did the Mike vote come from? Where did the Josh vote come from? You know, and I'm, I'm not 100% sure where the Josh vote came, came from, but I am 100% sure where the Mike vote came from. Everyone is positive, absolutely positive, that Carl played his Destiny token. No one knows or even suspects that I played mine instead. Carl was totally the Mike vote. Absolutely he was. But... The assumption is that someone still in the game voted for Mike, and that really gnaws at Mike, and it created a lot of paranoia. And there was a lot of arguing today between uh, Danielle, Olivia, Mike, 
as to as to what that vote was. Um, and uh, Olivia told Mike at one point that she thinks it was Danielle uh, because Danielle is the only one that didn't have the vote written down <laughs> because I immediately wrote down Carl and be like, yeah, I voted for Carl. How could I be lying? It's written down on a piece of paper. So, um, yeah, that, that, that just created some chaos and distrust and um, Mike... Mike and Olivia butted heads. Uh, Danielle and Olivia were butting heads. And um, it really put Olivia in a tough spot because she threw Danielle's name out there as someone that might have voted for Mike. And that's exactly the ammunition I needed to make the exact move I wanted. So um, it, it was just, it's just perfect how playing that Destiny token played out. It's just perfect. Absolutely perfect. I love that I don't need it. I love that people still think I have it. And I love that it created this much chaos and that I'm the only one with the information as to what actually happened. Oh, it's phenomenal. And when you have information like that, the worst thing I could do is share it. Uh, so yeah, definitely kept that to myself and definitely let the paranoia uh, tear relationships apart. So... Uh, I actually did jump into a room with Danielle and uh, Olivia uh, having a, a bit of a, a discussion about about that vote and about who's who was throwing whose name out in terms of telling Mike and and um, Olivia was like, well, this really just makes me not trust Mike. You know, what if we throw out Mike's and I'm just like, yeah, yeah, let's do Mike. Let's jump on that. But it gave me the perfect ammunition I needed because I could immediately go back to Mike and just be like, and in all honesty, I, I don't even have to lie about it. Olivia threw your name out there. And, you know, as soon as Mike has that information, um, the the vote was sealed, you know, at, at least when it comes to him, we, we needed to get numbers. But he started the night not, be, not being willing to uh, vote Olivia, and he ended up voting out someone that just the day before he was close to, and someone that I'm not close to. And I need Mike closer to me than I need him to, to, that, than to other people. So it was the perfect thing to get rid of this, 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 this link in a chain that is connected to other people, but not connected to me. Uh, Josh is, is someone that is taking this vote to vote. He is someone that I can work with when it comes to certain votes because his mind works in a certain way. He's not playing this game personally. He's um, very calculating. And uh, yeah, and that makes him a big threat, but it made him an ally for this vote. So we, we agreed to do uh, a 3-1 split between Olivia and Mariana. And, you know, knowing that, you know, the other three girls you know, we're probably going to vote together to get Mike, um, went into uh, crossroads with a plan. I was a little sketched out by Josh because he was talking to Olivia for quite a while before crossroads. Um, but, uh, you know, at least I knew that if someone, if the vote went wrong, it wasn't, it wasn't me. It wasn't my head. Um, I felt like at crossroads, I thought Danielle did something pretty slick before Crossroads where she was talking to me and she said something about how Mike had mentioned Olivia. And I was like, I didn't know we were filling Danielle on this plan. And I was like, uh, yeah, I've heard Olivia. And she was like, which way are you voting? Like, what's the vote? Is it, is it, uh, is it Josh? Is it Olivia? Is it, you know, Mariana? Like, what's the vote? And I was a little... Uh, flabbergasted and usually I'm pretty good on my feet, but I didn't really know what to tell her. I was like, do I want to tell her Olivia to keep her trust? But if I tell her Olivia, like, is, is that, is that something that she's going to th throw, throw back and, and, you know, maybe get someone to play a compass on Olivia. So I, I just kind of was a little sketched out and I was like, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure. And we literally went to crossroads with that being like the last thing I ever said. Uh, and, I was very nervous about it. And I gave her some information before that Olivia has played in a lot of other orgs and won. I actually don't think she's won, but there's way too many orgs for people to do that detective work. I wanted the target on Olivia to be big, big. And um, 
you know, if I tell some lies to, to make the target bigger, so be it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, Danielle actually ended up voting for Josh cause she just didn't know where the vote was going. And I assume she was going to be voting for Mike, but, um, you know, her voting for Josh, uh, again, I think just works into the paranoia and, um, so that's, uh, that's it. So exactly what I wanted to happen. Uh, last night is exactly what did happen. And I think I've been pretty pivotal in the last two votes into shaping and directing where they go. Um, so next, uh, next day is going to be an extremely challenging day because part of why I'm in the best position, I think, of anyone in this game is I am in two three-person alliances with six people left. So I am in alliance with Bambi and Mike. I feel very secure and strong about that. I am also in a three-person alliance with Danielle and Mariana. From day zero, day zero, we got into a room, made this alliance. And we're all still here and we're all still strong. We all still have each other's back. So I really don't think people are targeting me at all, at all. So I, I actually feel like I'm in the middle at the end of the game deciding which direction to take and who to go to the end with. But the next vote is really going to be hard because the only person left in the game that I'm not in an alliance with and a, a strong alliance with is Josh. I have no allegiance to Josh and Josh has no allegiance to me. So I know it won't be hard to get uh, Danielle Mariana to vote for Josh, but Getting Mike or Bambi to do it. Oh, man. That's going to be tough. Mike really wants Danielle or Mariana. Mm. I really wish Mariana didn't play her compass tonight. Uh, and that she had told me. Because if she had told me, we could make such a move. Ah, we could just blindside Josh and that's it. That's it. Oh, that would be great. But... Um... As it stands, that's that's not where we're at. So uh, I'm going to have to do some major, major work to get Josh next time. But if I can pull it off, I think I can win this game. Even if I don't pull it off, I still, I still think I can win. Hi, everyone. This is my day 12 update video. Um, let's talk about what happened today. So we had a trivia thing. Um, I obviously pointed at Mike, um, again, only because that was probably the easiest thing to do because I've been, I mean, me and Mike have been coming after each other like the whole game at this point. So yeah, and then eventually Bambi won, which, I mean, it is what it is. She's good at balancing. I'm actually not surprised that she won that. So, but like, let's talk about what happened at Crossroads. So obviously everyone is talking about my name because everyone suspects that I have a compass. And I ultimately told um, Olivia that I did have the compass. I told her the clue to get the first compass if she wanted it. Um, and then, yeah, eventually I heard that people might be splitting the vote with like Olivia and me. And then me, Danielle, David, and ben Olivia were trying to go for Mike to get him the majority, but like it didn't work. So um, there's people that I, there's definitely people who flopped it. But at the same time, like, it was such a crazy vote. Like, it could have went either, any way. So honestly, like, I was really thinking of saving my compass. But, like, at the same time, I just knew everyone was going to continue, like, telling me that I have it and using that as, you know, a number to get rid of me. Um, yeah. I... Honestly, I feel like I didn't, I mean, I know I just said it's nice that I saved myself, but honestly, at the end of the day, and now I kind of wish I saved it. Um, so I know now um, I'm going to be a target the next few rounds, and as long as I can make it to Final Five, like, that means I will keep my track record from all, from all my other games that I've played, because all my other games, I pretty much came in fifth place. Um... Yeah, I, after this vote, I need to really reconsider some of my relationships. Um, 
Yeah, at this point, like, I know, like, Bambi is left in this game from Callie, but to be honest, like, I don't feel good about her. Like, I, she doesn't give me anything. Like, I was in the base camp with her, and she didn't give me every, anything. And I've just been trying to push this thing to everyone. Like, I am, I've been pretty much genuine and loyal with everything that has been going on in this game. So hopefully that can resonate with anything. Um, but yeah, this this upcoming, the next round, it's going to be very interesting. So I'm going to have to reevaluate all my friendships again. And I got to win exemption at this point. And then I have the token, which I'll have to play. And then just hope that I can just win immunity. But right now, I'm just like, honestly, I'm not really feeling happy right now. I'm really sad about how things went down today and it could have went ev anywhere but i'm just glad at the end of the day i just whatever i'm safe i'm here i'm here to play so yeah that's all i have really i i really yeah that's that's my day that's my day 12 update video so have a good day guys and please pray for me i'll need it <laughs> i'm feeling really good about this round i don't know i've just got a really good feeling there's uh, there's an alliance that I think could do really well as long as we stick together. Being myself, David, Mike, and Bambi. And I'm excited because going into Final Six, we've just got a great, great thing going. And I'm really hoping that that's the, what the real plan is. And I think it is. I, I think you all have a common interest in voting out either Danielle or Mariana. And right now it's just about time to make sure that neither one of them win exemption and to send them both boat, uh, send them one of them home. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to do that though because this next challenge does not seem up my alley at all. We're having to hold a broom to keep a soda can or some kind of can from falling off an ledge. And that's not my strong suit. Nothing balance or anything I have to hold shake wise, I'm not gonna do good at. If it was just brute strength, you know, hold something up above your head, I'd be perfect, I'd be golden. I'd be sitting there for hours, but, but, not my thing today. So I'm expecting to drop pretty early. I kinda hope that I do drop early. I'm not gonna forcefully drop myself. I'm not gonna actually quit. You know, if I win, I win, it's awesome. But I don't think, if I drop early, it's going to make me look like a threat or anything. So I'm hoping that, you know, in the off chance I do drop early, everybody's like, ah, Josh can't win anything. Oh, well, sucks to be him. <laughs> and uh, just keeps me around. I think it's in Mike's best interest this round to keep me. Sorry, there's a golf tournament going on. It's in Mike's best interest to keep me because... I have the other half a compass and who knows, he could need it at the next crossroads. And without that guarantee of another half a compass, you never know what's going to happen in this game. So I guess we'll find out. <laughs> okay. Um, so I am still here. <laughs> um, so initially, um, we go to the, uh, the challenge. The challenge is, I don't remember what it was called, uh, mind over matter. So we have to, uh, hold a cup of ice and, um, answer trivia questions. We have to stack the cups on top of, um, the first, the frozen cup. If other people are getting questions right and, and like striking you, right? So you get five strikes, five cups. Um, if you get past your fifth cup or you drop your cups, you're out of the game. I didn't last very long. Uh, I thought I was going to last a lot longer, but as like you're holding it, the cup starts kind of slipping. And Mariana had put two cups on me pretty quickly in the game. And so I had to, I had to keep these cups from like shuffling and they just kept moving and shuffling. And then, um, you know, the more the ice melted, the more condensation kind of was appearing on all the cups. And so they were just moving around and I wasn't going to win. So I ended up dropping out. I lasted as long as I could to hopefully put some strikes on people, um, but didn't get any questions right. So that was super frustrating. Um, 
But uh, at the end, Bambi won. And like it was between her, Danielle, and Olivia. And I really, really was excited to see Bambi win. I was so proud of her. Um, what a great kind of epic moment for her to win because we're in the final seven and this is the moment. This is the time to make a move. And so it was really kind of interesting to me uh, to see, you know, what happened in the different rooms, like who kind of shuffled out with who. Um, so initially I, I go and I talk to Danielle. Um, I let her know what Mariana and um, Olivia have told me about the vote from the last round. So I just assume that I'm just trying to get the light out of my, out of my glasses. Um, I just assumed that, um, that D Danielle did vote for me and potentially she did. Like, I, I still don't know if she did or not. Um, it was either her Mariana or Olivia and Mariana swords up and down that it was not her. Um, Olivia came to me first and threw Danielle's name under the bus. So I just told Danielle, like, hey, like, I, I've been hearing from people, like, that you were the one that voted for me. And it was because of this big, like, vote reveal in the main chat, in the main room, when Josh and I were kind of separated. <clears throat> and uh, Danielle denied it, which I knew she would. Like, no, no big deal. Whether or not she's telling the truth or not, I don't know. Um and I didn't necessarily tell her exactly who those people were yet. I wanted to kind of see her reaction. So she was like swearing up and down. It wasn't her. And then she even brought up like, yeah, like I figured like, I don't, I don't paper vote. Like I don't vote, you know, to the confessional. I just say my vote. So it's like, oh, I thought you had to write it down. Um, like official, right? <clears throat> but apparently you don't. That's what she's saying. I don't know if it's true. Um, but she did have to look around for paper and pen today. So maybe it's true. Um so I confront her and she denies it, which I knew she would. Um, I tell her that Mariana was the one that came to me second, that she let me know that like, hey, this happened in the main room. Um, like, I think it was Danielle that voted for her, for you. So I was like, okay. So I told Danielle that <clears throat> and I was like, I, I don't see why Mariana wouldn't say that, right? Because if Mariana voted for me, she's going to want to deflect somebody else. And it's either you or Olivia. And, and she probably assumed that Olivia might be working with me more than you. Um, but I'm really confused by the other person. Like, like that's kind of confirming for me that the, like, that they're either in cahoots together or that the three of you were working together and now you're, you're kind of turning on each other. And she's like, oh, so Olivia. And I was like, yeah, it was Olivia. And Olivia pops in. And so I like Danielle immediately like confronts Olivia about it. So I'm like, okay, this is awkward. So I'm like, listen, like, I, I just know what I know. I'm just trying to figure out like what really happened. I'm going to go bounce and kind of talk to some other people and see what's going on with the vote. Like, I don't really care about what happened last round anymore. Like, I want to know what's going on this round. Not even five minutes later, David comes and tells me that Olivia <laughs> is flat out denying any of it's true um so i'm like okay cool like if she's gonna if she's gonna make me feel like a liar which i'm not lying you did do that you were the first one to come and tell me this i'm i'm not i don't trust olivia anymore so i go to bambi and i just let her know i'm like listen this happened with olivia i really don't know what's going on I, I've been honest with you and Olivia from the start. I wanted to work with the three of you. I said, but if Olivia is going to like flat out, like deny my truth, I, I can't trust her anymore. And Bambi was totally cool with it. So long story short, um, David, Josh, Bambi and I end up in the main room together, like the main room where anybody could just jump in. And we basically make a plan that the three guys, Josh, David, and I are going to vote for Olivia and that Bambi is going to throw her vote on to Mariana. I'm – or whoever is going to try to get Danielle to vote for Mariana. Clearly, that didn't happen. Danielle did not vote for Mariana. Danielle either voted for me or Josh. And Olivia either voted for me or Josh. So Danielle was trying to play two sides too quickly. So – um, I, I don't trust Danielle. I, I, I really wanted her to kind of be my, my other person. Um, cause I really didn't have like another person, like a, a, a person I felt like if I got to the end with them, like I might be able to, 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 to kind of spar with a little bit, but 
at the end of the day, Danielle either voted for me or voted for Josh and didn't vote for Mariana. So she clearly didn't want to vote for Mariana. She had no interest in voting for Mariana. So it is what it is, right? So Mariana plays her compass. She negates her vote, which was Bambi, the one vote for Bambi. And then it comes up one vote for Olivia, one vote for Josh, one vote for me, two votes for me, and then three votes for Olivia. Woo! Woo! I escaped that by the skin of my teeth. Wow. Like, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm so excited that, like, I was part of that moment. So that's cool. Like, I'm, I'm really just proud of that and excited about that. So that aside, um, Olivia goes home. So it was David, Josh, and me who voted for Olivia. Bambi voted for Mariana, which means that the three votes between me and Josh were Olivia, Danielle, and Mariana. Mariana has already admitted she voted for me. So Danielle potentially can lie and say she voted for Josh. But what I'm hoping is that that Josh doesn't believe that. Or that Josh believes that and that, like, I can keep Josh, like, with me on my side. Danielle and Josh spent a lot of time in a room together. So I'm a little weary about that. But I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling, and of course, it's, like, the worst thing to feel. But, like, I'm in the final six. I'm in, like, finale week, more or less. So... I feel great. You know, there's there's around Thursday, and then we've got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, which means we vote somebody out Thursday. We're down to five. We vote somebody out Sunday. We're down to four. We vote somebody out Monday. So final three. So I'm locking in Bambi and David because I think I can beat them. Like, I don't see how Bambi gets votes from people. And if she does, then like people are bitter, bitter jurors, and that's fine. Like Bambi played a great game. Like, like I don't, I'm not taking away from Bambi's game. I think Bambi played a great game, especially with where she, where she was, and like kind of what position she was in. But the the allegiance between David, myself, and Bambi is rock solid. Like there is nothing besides maybe a, a ridiculous idol or a ridiculous compass play in final five, that's going to break up that three. Um, I I just, I feel really good about it. And Josh seems like he's like good with me. Like I just got to keep him kind of, you know, happy and and feeling confident um, because we're the only two, as far as I know, with any sort of compass pieces. So if we can come together and figure out a way to get rid of Mariana and Danielle, you know, six and, and five, then we don't need the compass to get to four. Right. So that's kind of the goal. Like, like let's get to four. Let's hash it out at the end. Basically I want Josh to believe that I'm with him. I want David to believe I'm with him. I want Bamba to believe I'm with her. I'm with all three of them until I have to vote for one of them, which is going to be hopefully at final four. And if that's the case, I don't think any of them vote for me. So (laughs) I'm probably getting ahead of myself, but like, I might have positioned myself in the perfect spot. And and it sucks to have to get rid of Olivia, but at the same time, like, it merged four people together that I was trying to get to work together. I, I, I don't know how I managed to do that, but it worked. So, because David and Josh have kind of been after each other. And, and Josh has said Bambi's name. And so, like, the fact that the four of us came together and made something happen and Josh stuck to his word, that gives him a lot of clout. So. I'm really, I'm really excited to kind of see, uh, you know, if any of the f- four of us win, if any of the three of them win, I'm happy. Um, and, and you know, obviously I want to win. But I think that all four of us really deserve to be here. And I'm, I'm really proud of the game that I've played and, and proud of the, the games that, that the three of them have played. That being said, my plan is to figure out a way to get Danielle out of this game. I know David is somewhat tight with her. I think Josh would be willing to vote off Danielle over Mariana. And then I think Bambi would just do whatever whatever I asked her to do. So I, I honestly think that I have the power to kind of decide who which one of the two of them goes home. Um, 
And at the end of the day, I, I don't know which one's the bigger threat. So I've got to kind of think that through, take the 48 hours, really think about which one of them uh, I feel most confident in, in going to a final five with. Um, but it's also nerve wracking because people, people are going to kind of push random names to make people play their tokens. So that's the other caveat to this game is that Josh has already played his token. So I know he's voting in the next vote. I know he's got a vote. So I have to work with Josh. Like Josh is, is there's, I'm not pushing Josh's name. I cannot vote for Josh. So, or, or, you know, Josh's name cannot come out of my mouth at this point. So that being said, Josh has a vote for sure. I don't want to use my token. If I have to, I will. Um, I don't think I'll have to, but I don't want to lose my vote. I want to make sure that Josh and I both are voting together for the same person. Potentially that can be Danielle. Cause I don't, I, I think he's going to feel more comfortable like having Mariana kind of on his, because he's got her kind of on his side. So I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling confident. Josh kind of lied a little bit to Danielle and Mariana. So um, you know, the trust there is, is kind of broken. I think I can do this. I think I can pull this off. I don't think I have to use the token. I don't even think I might even need a compass. I'm hoping to, to figure out how to get one, but you know, it, whatever, like if I don't have it, I don't have it. Um, I, I'm just, I'm so, I'm so proud of my game and I'm, I'm so happy that I got this far into the game. Um, it's been so worth it. You know, there's been a lot of compromises that I've made, um, you know, in, in certain parts of my life, uh, to be able to play this game as, as actively as I've had to, um, especially toward the end game. So I, I feel really proud of my game, you know, no matter what happens, you know, I, I made it, I made it to the final six, like, you know, you, you set goals for yourself. Right. And so, you know, the first goal is like, just got to make rendezvous and with all the twists and turns pre rendezvous like i'm just super proud of myself that i was able to make it i actually made it to rendezvous only having to vote once um technically i voted twice but i only voted one person out and that was anthony like i think round two so i voted anthony out um and now here i am sitting here having voted pretty much every person out since philip so Philip, even though I voted for him initially, I voted for Katie the round he actually went. Um, so I've voted for – then I voted for Katie, then I voted for um, Haley, and then I voted for Carl, and then I voted for Olivia. So I have been on the right side of the votes for the last four votes. Nobody else can say that. Nobody else can say that. So that's really exciting. Like that's, that's making me feel like I made the right choices and I aligned with the right people. So I trust David and Bambi wholeheartedly. So the only thing that could really screw me over is if, if, a, if a compass gets played, which at this point we could really just split the votes. We could put two votes on Mariana, two votes on Danielle, and it doesn't matter who either of them vote for. Um, which would be great. So then there's a you know potential three way tie. We revote and the th and three people from our original you know split alliance um, would then be able to to make the decision of who goes home. So you know I we've got some power. We have power in this game, and I I I I, I optimistically but reluctantly say that I see myself in the final four. Um, you know, I, I don't see David or Bambi turning on me. Josh potentially could, but, um, you know, he loses the opportunity for a compass. Like, I'm willing to give him the half compass if it means, you know, getting the four of us to the to the final four. So I'm just going to let him know in this next round that, like, the compass is his if we can get to five. If we get to five, I will give him the half compass to to assure with him that I want to be in the final four with him. So I think, you know, Batman started this game, but I think I, I finally turned into like a little bit of a more villainous player this round. Um, Carl already thought so anyway. So 
Um, you know, unfortunately, Olivia had to go uh, with that whole kind of crazy, like, who's lying debacle. So, um, you know, it was unfortunate that that she put herself in that position. And, uh, you know, I'm just glad that I've got that on my resume. I can say, like, I orchestrated that. I went to Bambi and said, here's the plan. This is what I want to do. And then we pulled Josh and David in and it happened. It worked. So I've got that on my resume. I can say that I orchestrated that. So I feel great. Like, even if I can't get to the end, even if I don't make it to the final three, I feel like I put my mark on the game and uh, I, I I feel like, you know, I deserve to be here. So I haven't really felt that great, you know, until the Carl vote. So I felt like I was just kind of like sheeping my way. And here I am. I, you know, I stepped up. I said I was going to do it. And I did. I made some big moves. I took out Carl. You know, I, I broke up any sort of Mariana, Olivia, Danielle possibility. Um, and I'm sitting here with Danielle and Mariana over here. I've got David and, and Bambi over here. And I've got Josh floating in the middle exactly where I want him. So that's, that's great. I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling awesome. So uh, I'm going to bed really, really excited and happy. Um, but the, the, the brain is still turning. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so um, this is video number two for episode 12. Um, I am feeling like I'm in a good place. David and Bambi, I think, are working with me. I think I've got them. I, I don't think that they're going to come, come after me or go against me. Um, my concern is that taking them to the end probably gives me the least chance of winning the game. I think that Bambi and David could easily sway people to vote with them over me because I've been kind of more schemey um, and kind of backstabbing some people in the last, you know, last few rounds. So I do feel a little concerned that David and Bambi who've been played playing a much more loyal game to who they've been loyal to potentially get more votes. So Bambi probably gets Mariana's vote. Um, David will get Haley's vote. Katie's kind of up in the air and she always has been. Carl does not vote for me. Philip might vote for me, but I think his vote could easily be up in the air as well. Um, and then Olivia, I just burned, but she tried to burn me too. So um, I, I want to believe that Olivia may vote for me, but I, I was the one that was kind of campaigning against her. So um, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm very um, weary about, about my chances with David and Bambi in the end. Um, I have to hope that people will be more happy with gameplay and the fact that I was the one that swayed those votes to protect Bambi and David because Bambi and David should have been the next two to go, but it ended up being Carl and Olivia. So I feel like I, I was very pivotal in that, that, that switch. Um, and now that we're in the final six, we have majority. So I feel confident that I can persuade a few people to vote for me, but it's still a little nerve wracking to, to know that they've got locked votes. I don't think Haley votes for me over, over David. I don't think Mariana votes for me over Bambi. So, um, and, and that's assuming Mariana's in the jury too. Right. So then that would leave Danielle and Josh and, and, you know, I would have to get both their votes in the end to even have a chance. So, um, I don't know if it's the best case scenario to bring both David and Bambi, um, but they're the, my most loyal allies and they're the two people that I've been playing this game to kind of protect. So I'm hoping that I can kind of, you know, explain to people that, okay, I'm the player of the game. I'm the one that got us here. Uh, those were the two that I just needed to lock in their votes as, as solid allies to get to the end. Um, and that's why they're here that's the only way I can, I think I can beat them. Cause that persuades potentially Danielle to vote for me, Olivia to vote for me, um, Philip to vote for me, uh, and hopefully maybe Josh. So that gives me potentially four out of the eight votes. So that would be my best case scenario if I can persuade that, but it's, it's nerve wracking to bring them, the two of them to the end. Um, on the flip side, you know, bringing Josh to the end, people saw Josh as a threat right away. So if he can get to the end, I think people look at him and say, he played a good game. Like he figured it out. He was able to get there. Um, you know, his name was, was out there far sooner than, than my name was, but I think that's my, that's my fight, right? Like 
Josh has always been a target. People have always tried to go after him. I just knew that people would eventually want to take him out. Um, so I, I'm I'm thinking that bringing Josh isn't the worst case scenario, but maybe not the best choice. Um, Mariana has a lot of potential uh, cheerleaders on the jury. Um, Philip could be looking at her and saying like, yeah, she was my ally from day one, blah, blah, blah. Even though they never really, really reconnected at rendezvous, you know, she could get his vote. Um, and he's the only one that I feel like I could lock in with everybody else. Um, I think Mariana is the only one that I lose, potentially lose Philip's vote to. Um, I also think that Mariana could easily get Carl and Josh's vote. I also think that Mariana could easily get Olivia and Danielle's vote. So Mariana, once again, is probably my biggest threat. I need to take her out. Plus, at this point, two Kellys making it this far in the game. One of them needs to go. Like, Bambi's been my loyal ally. I'm not going to turn on her. So Mariana has to be my option yet again to push. But I keep being told, stop pushing her name because you're going to be a target. I think Danielle told me that because I think Danielle knew that Mariana had the compass and I've always kind of felt that way. So Danielle's not, she's an ally and she was, I think trying to be protective of me, but at the end of the day, clearly she's more aligned with Mariana since she didn't tell me about the compass. Um, that leaves Danielle. I think Danielle is my most worthy adversary. I think that she's played a really kind of sneaky game where she's, she's been like me where we kind of aligned with a lot of different people. Uh, I think she's played a more similar game uh, to mine where she hasn't committed 100% to any particular person. She's kind of just like grouped herself with bigger groups um, that are all at different angles and going after each other. So I think she's played a very similar game. I think I can articulate mine better, but I've also burned, I think, more people than Danielle has. Carl called me out, not Danielle, who potentially voted for him uh, or said she did. Um, Olivia is going to feel more burned by me than Danielle, even though Danielle probably knew that Olivia was going or had some sort of target on her. Um, and Danielle kind of created that target, too. Like, Danielle wasn't innocent in that. She kind of played Switzerland and that's her like saving grace, right? Like Olivia, I didn't vote for you. I didn't do this. Michael did. Like he's the one that that you know targeted you and, and took you out. But at the end of the day, Danielle literally sat there and let Olivia and I go at each other and and kind of you know flamed the fire. So I think I can manage to explain that to Olivia um, to heighten my potential to get her vote. Philip votes for me over Danielle for sure. I don't know where Katie goes with that. I think Haley votes for me over Danielle. I think um, I think um, Josh potentially votes for me over Danielle. So I think Danielle and I are probably the most well matched in the way we've played the game. But I've been much, you know, even though I've been kind of playing all the sides and like connecting with all different people, I've also been playing a far more aggressive game than her. Um, so that could either be my downfall and give her the win or be my saving grace and give me the win. So it's kind of like a toss up to what the jury is going to want to vote for when it comes to Danielle. Um, so that's kind of my like jury assessment of like where I sit with the six. Um, I think my best bet, honestly, is to go to the end with either Danielle in the mix or Bambi and David. Like they're, they're my biggest allies anyway. I know they'll vote with me. And if I go to the end with them, I potentially can argue that I was the one that brought them to the end, that I was able to flip all of the votes, you know, when David was up a Creek, when Bambi's name was constantly coming out of, out of people's mouths, I flipped those votes. I was the one that was able to, um, you know, persuade David and Haley to vote, out, vote out Katie. I was the one that was able to get Carl out. I was the one that was able to come up with the big plan to take out Olivia. So I think that, that again, it either heightens my chances of winning the game if people are all about the gameplay, or it basically provides Bambi and David the ability to just fight for votes amongst the two of them. 
Um, either way, I, I think I'm going to go that direction simply because I think that they are the most deserving based on how, on what they've had to accomplish in the game. Bambi's been you know at the bottom a lot uh, since Rendezvous, and David kind of got screwed over really quickly by our own Janet uh, team. So I really feel like David does deserve it, but my argument is that it's because of me that he and Bambi are still in the game. So I hope I can kind of persuade that. I think that's what I'm going to go with. I think that's what I'm going to stick with. I think it makes the most sense. Basically persuade Josh that I'm in it to the end with him, but Bambi and David are going to cut him um, and I'm not going to force a tie um, between him and, and somebody else. So, um, you know, I got to just make sure that Josh knows that like I'm with him to the end. We're the final two um, because we've both got half compasses. So if we can combine those and potentially make a, a big game move too, that also adds to my resume. And then I boot Josh. And then that way I'm the one that can claim that, you know, that win, right? Like I, I was able to help play a comp, you know, use a compass properly and correctly or at least use it to burn it right so that josh didn't have it and then take josh out so i think i have a good path to the end i think i have a great argument in the end so the fact that i'm already talking about the end feels really good but it also is really scary because you know i might be building myself up for a, a massive you know downfall so i'm, I'm skeptically optimistic but um, you know, I, I've been this way, I think the entire game, which I think is what has kept me in the game because I've been very aware of different connections and very aware of like, who's working with who and who I think I can persuade and pull in by taking out Carl. I've pulled in Josh by taking out Olivia. I've guaranteed Bambi by my side. Um, and potentially Danielle needs somebody to, to latch back onto. And I'm hoping that's me and Bambi or me and David. Um, who she also seems to have like little allegiances with, but clearly they're not as with her as they are with me, or at least I hope. <laughs> so um, yeah, I think Mariana's again, once again, my, my best shot to push. My plan though, is actually to make it seem like, yep, let's all just Janet this to the end. Let's vote off Mariana here. Let's take her out. Um, but have somebody throw a vote on Danielle just in case, because Mariana can play that token, lose her vote, which means she can't vote for anybody else, which means if if all if if we persuade Danielle to vote for Mariana, four of us vote for Mariana, if the token works for her, her votes go null, but somebody has thrown a vote on Danielle. So that would be my my best plan um, to hopefully get myself to the final five. Because these tokens are gonna are gonna be a big thing in this vote. This is the excuse me. This is the last time that they can use them. Um, I'm not planning on using mine at this point. I want my vote to be to be there. But Mariana or Danielle could use theirs. Um, and and given the fact that the chances that they both pick different numbers, as long as we have votes on both of them, we're good. Because um, if they both use their token they both lose their vote. So that leaves me, David, Bambi, and Josh, you know, powering through this. And if we make Danielle feel like, yeah, we're definitely voting for Mariana, she might play the token anyway, be like, nah, I don't have a vote, who cares? At least I might be safe from a revote or a, you know, whatever. And, you know, so Mariana, I don't know. So we'll figure it out. Um, I feel, I feel skeptically optimistic. I just have to make sure that Josh is with me 100%. If I can make sure that, so he's the first person I need to talk to. If that can happen, I think I can, I can make it to the end. I just don't know who I end up sitting next to at this point, but if I can gain the power, um, I'm going to feel good about being able to persuade the jury to vote for me at the end. So wish me luck. So I got voted out. I thought I was going to be a lot more upset than I am. Like, of course, I wanted to make it to the end, but I'm also really proud of the game I played. Um, my goal was to make jury and win an exemption challenge, and I did both of those. And I feel like 
for me, it's a lot better to leave knowing that you played, like, a game that you can be proud of than, like, just going far for no reason. Just, like, having people carrying you and getting dragged to the end because you're not a threat. And tonight at Crossroads, um, I, I knew that it was Mike, Josh, and David that voted me out just because of they were all clapping and cheering when I got voted out. And honestly, like, I could look at it as just guys being dicks, but... I thought it was a compliment because it means that I'm a threat and it means that um, those guys were, like, scared of me and how I play. So I feel like that's pretty flattering. Um, I'm just annoyed because there was um, a vote on Josh tonight and I, I think – I have a feeling it was Danielle and if it was Danielle, then she could have just voted for Mike with us and we could have tied the vote and it, it just is annoying. Um, And then I'm pretty sure that it was Bambi that voted for Mariana. She's been voting wrong every single time, which that sucks for her. It's embarrassing, um, and I feel bad. But, um, yeah, I really enjoyed getting to talk to the jury tonight. I definitely like them on a personal level a lot more than the people that are still in the game. Um, I kind of feel like getting Carl out sealed my fate because he was a good shield for me and he was always going to look out for me whereas like the other people like sure like I maybe one day I thought I could trust them but honestly like my trust rankings changed so much every day I'm pretty sure in every single confessional I had like a different target and like a different person who I said I was working with because for a while I was like sussed out by Mariana and then today she admitted to me that she had a compass and I mean it did take a lot of me pressuring her to do it but she still did it so I was really happy about that and then I'm pretty sure and she also defended me at crossroads which I really appreciated because it felt like Mike was attacking me for no reason and that honestly made me a lot more upset than getting voted out um but yeah for a while I was sus of Mariana and I realized like yeah like you should have listened to your gut instinct that told you that Mike was sus and you should have gotten him out earlier because Mariana was actually looking out for you the whole time and was going to help you. And I just used what Mike was saying, like the fact that she was easy to pin blame on for being the Mike vote when it was really Carl the whole time who didn't play his token. And then the whole thing with her not telling me that she had a compass and like not being straight up with me for a bunch of rounds in a row. And yeah, I... I, it's weird because at times I wanted to get rid of Mike so badly and then at times I wanted to work with him because he was telling me oh I really want to go to the end with you and Bambi and I thought like okay that could be a solid final three especially because it seems like a lot of the jury is bitter and won't vote for him so he might be a good option to take to the end um but yeah it it sucks but I'll get over it seventh place is not too bad I'm in good company with Uh, Alec Christie, who was, like, my first Survivor crush. I'm in love with him. And Kat and Jeffra and Sierra from Token Teens and a lot of other really cool people. So I'm proud of myself. And I'm so glad I got to play. I'm so glad I got to meet Janet. And I'm so glad that I got to prove myself. um, And that the really, like, sweet, innocent little girl stereotype actually did super well. So thank you for having me.